Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shanae and I am the creator behind Original Flavor. If you like luxury lifestyle, beauty, fashion, this is the place to be. Welcome. So today's video is going to be a mini haul. I'm going to be sharing with you guys um, some of, well, three new handbags I added to my collection this past month. Well, last 30 days because it's not just November. <laughs> So one of the bags you would have already seen if you watched my previous video. The other two are new to this channel, but if you're following me on Instagram, which you need to be, which you should be, you would have already seen one of them. And one of them is new to Instagram and YouTube. So definitely stay tuned. But before we get into the unboxing and the, the bags, let's talk about the outfit of the day or the night because I'm filming literally just to show you those bags and then I'm taking off my makeup and going to lay into my bed to wake up at 4.30 a.m. to go to work. So for the outfit of the day, I am wearing this beautiful, I don't know if you pronounce the brand Afrim or A-F-R-M, Affirm, whatever. Either way, I've been into their pieces. So one of the things that they do really well is like this tank, it's not a bodysuit, but it's like a long sleeve shirt like the one I have on. It's tiger print. You guys will see it in the full length when I include it on the clip to the side. It will be there. I really love it. This one's sheer, but it's not like sheer in a tacky way. It's sheer in a way that's still like classy, presentable, but still like, you know, a mood, a vibe. So I really like this. Um, it was about $38, I believe. Of course, you look for a discount code so you can get a little bit cheaper. On the AFRM, they actually have more of them on the... Um, on their website, they have a bunch of different prints. You can also find them at Nordstrom, at Revolve, and I think Bloomingdale's, if I remember correctly. But either way, I think this is a really great shirt. And I think they have, like I said, other options. What's also really great about this shirt is it has thumb holes. I feel like when it's cold outside, especially for the NYC fall and winter, you know, it can get a little chilly. And I feel like having this option, just I feel like in my head, I don't know if it's really a thing, it can kind of trap in more of the heat and just makes me feel a little bit more cozy. So you're getting the cute print, you're getting the standout piece, and you're also getting the little thumb holes, which I think is a really cute detail. On this shirt is also a turtleneck. I don't know if it's meant to be folded. I was going to, but I didn't like how it looked folded, so I kind of just kept it like slouchy. Like my, the first bag I'm going to show you guys is the one that's the newest to YouTube and Instagram. It is a bag that I said I wasn't going to get. It is a bag that I said I found a cheaper alternative to from the same brand and that because I had that, I didn't need to get this bag. If you've been watching me, you might know what I'm talking about. If you do, please leave below, comment, and let me know what your guess is. I'll give you some time. Anyways, it's a bag that I felt like I loved when I first saw it. Then everybody had it in the whole entire world, like literally everybody. Turned me off from it a little bit. Then I realized that I really do like it, but the colors that were available were not colors I liked or it was colors that I already had too many of in my handbag collection. They released a new color, I guess for the holidays or for the winter season. And if you didn't guess it already, it is none other than the Coach Pillow Tabby. Yes, I did it. You know that if you guys are on TikTok or Instagram, you know the little voiceover that's like, Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Girl, I did it. That's me. I did it. I might actually film a real TikTok like that because this is what I feel like. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Like behind me, you guys will see that I have my Coach Georgie. So that is the reason why I will not buy the cream color tabby because I have this and I feel like I can't have two of the, too much of the same because it's like it's only so many occasions I'm actually going to wear the white one. Or the cream color so I want to make sure that whichever one I have I'm using it and I already committed to the Georgie I love it it's different it's classic so I'm good with that so what made me get this one so I've come to the conclusion that the coach pillow tabby is never going on sale and some of you guys had put in one of my videos I think under the coach Georgie video yeah girl that's not going on sale it's too popular you won't see it happen it's not gonna happen it's, it surely did not happen so when I saw these colors, I figured it was my chance to get a color that wasn't the cream or the pink. So I wanted to take advantage of that. And I don't have any gold bags in my collection because to be honest, I find metallic bags to be a little tacky. I typically don't like how they look at all. I think the only other metallic bag I have in my collection 
It's actually like a metallic pink lilac color I have from Rebecca Minkoff that I really like. Um, I don't, I think I've, I haven't done a handbag collection video, so you guys haven't seen it. It's a Rebecca Minkoff love bag. I think it's gorgeous, but it's still not tacky to me. But typically, gold and silver bags, I just, I don't know what, what it is. It's, I think it's in my head. Sometimes I make up these own things about certain, like, attributes of, like, clothing items or, or things, and it just makes me, like, a test to it. It's a test or detest. I don't know. Either way, it just makes me, like, repulsive to it. This I like because now that I'm looking at it in person, the metallic is not really, it's not a tacky, like, yellow gold, gold member type of yellow, I mean, yellow gold. It's like, just like a, like a, a soft brushed gold. Really beautiful. I have the size 18, so this is the smaller size, which is what I wanted. To be honest, I think I would have preferred the bigger size, but the only reason why I did it was literally just because of the price. I mean, it's no other, no rhyme or reason. It's just really was just because I wanted to save the extra money. Which I mean, hey, it is what it is. Especially because it's a gold bag, so this can go with a lot, and you could dress it up or dress it down. However, I don't, I don't, I don't know how often I'm gonna like. I think I'm gonna use it a lot, but I don't think that me getting, I just didn't think it was worth it for me to get the the bigger size. Plus, I like that when it comes to like metallics or certain materials or certain colors that are smaller. I think it just makes it less obnoxious. That's a tip if you want to add more color to your wardrobe. So I'm going to do the unboxing for you guys because I kind of did it unofficially with my sister on, on FaceTime because she wanted to see what it looked like. She called it ugly, but I do not agree with her. But everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Everyone has their own taste. I know some of you guys watching will be like, I would never have gotten a gold one. I would have gotten a cream one. I would have gotten a pink one, which I think those are beautiful as well. But, you know, teach his own. And I like this one. And that's all that matters because it was my money. So... Like all the other handbag unboxings you guys have seen, it has the gold um, calf skin. I think it, I believe it's calf skin. So this is brushed with the metallic. So I'll, I'll do an update later on about how well the gold the gold coating has held up. Because that's another thing that people have to be mindful of when you buy metallic leathers or like iridescent leathers, like the ones that Chanel does. Just because sometimes they don't really hold up as well or they brush off and they start to look a little weird after a while. So that's something to think about. However, Coach does offer the, the, I think they fix bags or repair them for a certain amount or it's complimentary. So I will be upholding them on that because you pay for it. So you might as well make use of it. That's the point of getting luxury. Well, one of the points of getting luxury is that, you know, the customer service and what they're offering is at a different level. So inside of the bag, I hope you guys can see this. There's two different pockets. Two different compartments which i love help us keep organized inside was the crossbody strap i'm not going to put it on for you guys but i see that there's many holes so i'm sure it'll fit for me i'm five two hopefully by the time this video goes up i'll have time to take pictures so i can show you guys what it looks like on my body frame i am five two i am a size six curvy so you know Things look different on different people, but I'll insert a picture of how it looks on me. Just so, like, if you're similar to my body type or my body size, you can see what it looks like on you. It's just a really beautiful bag. I'm really super excited. I need to go see. This is what happens. Now I'm going to have to go buy little, like, handles like everyone else has with the pearls and the chains. You know, just to dress up my bag because it gives you the ability. Super cute. I will leave it linked below. So far, I have only seen this available on the actual Coach website. I have not seen it available yet on Macy's, Saks, Bloomingdale's, all those places. So, more to come. So, my next handbag is by a Black-owned handbag designer. It's not Telfar, so it's Brandon Blackwood. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, which you should be once again because I post it most frequently. Um, yeah, if you're not following me on Instagram, you need to. At Original Flavor with a U underscore. Um, definitely do that. I'll link it below. But pretty much I had unboxed this beauty on there. This is the Kendrick Trunk in purple. So I really, really have been loving Brandon Blackwood in the bags. This is actually my fourth one added to my collection. The other two... Two of them are the and systemic racism or the ESR totes, which I love. One in the original canvas. I got one of the original batches. And the other one was from one of the pre-orders. It's a lilac satin. You guys have seen it in pictures if you're on my Instagram. I'll insert some pictures of those. 
And the third one is one that my boyfriend kindly gave me as a present for all my hard work. And that one is the mini Kara. So it was like a little like duffel bag looking one, super cute. Such a good mini bag, small but holds a lot. So I wanted to add one of the trunks because I kind of feel like that's one of the standout pieces from his collection. And honestly, from all the bags that I've had from him, I have no complaints. The quality is really great. I feel like everything comes like beautifully packaged. And as he's grown and, you know, developed more and more, I have seen the difference in the way the bags come, as far as the packaging. They've always come correct, but I feel like as far as the little details. Because, you know, it's one of the things you, that you expect when you pay for luxury or you buy something that's a luxury product. You expect for it to come a certain way, the presentation. It's the little details, the little things that make you feel special right because why like if it's not gonna like for all the money you're paying you want to feel special you want to feel like you're some average joe that bought something off the street so i think that's really nice this one is vegan leather which that's one of the only other things i want to see more from him i think he does a good thing with different styles he's unique he's doing different colors different materials but i would like to see more real leather options i know some people on here are going to be like that's not sustainable it's not good for animals and that's all cool and all, and I'm all here for animals. However, sometimes I just feel like I just, I want a leather bag. I'll pay more for it. I know the price point is one of the reasons why sometimes they opt for vegan leather, vegetable leather, whatever you call it. But I feel like if I'm paying, I'm paying a certain price point, I want leather. Because I feel like leather stands the test of time. Between this and my Telfar bags, I really want to see how long they're going to last. So I'm going to do a, I'm going to include the unboxing as well. On the side as I'm talking so you guys will see that but the bag is really nice it has feet on the on the bottom of it so well thought of the stitching is beautiful it also came with a longer strap I don't see where I put it right now oh here it is so it comes with a crossbody strap however because this is the Kendrick size the regular size and not the mini I personally with my height and my body frame I think that this is too big and too clunky to wear crossbody so I do plan on using it more of a um top handle style which i think is really nice with this because it looks kind of like a mini briefcase super cute and yeah the only other thing i want to show you guys is how i'm opening this how it would look because i feel like you know things could just fall out and then your stuff is not secured however when you open it as you guys can see there's limitations on how far you can open it so that's that i'll include some shots of me styling it hopefully by the time this video goes up but that's my kendrick tote no, Kendrick bag from Brandon Blackwood. I like I said, my collection is growing by him, so I'm considering doing a, just a whole video dedicated to all the bags that I have so far in his collection. Let me know, or if you guys just want to see a black-owned handbag collection, I could do that as well because I have a good amount now to do an actual like collection video. Let me know. Okay, guys. So one thing I didn't mention was the price of the bag. I paid $185 for that bag, so pretty accessible, pretty reasonable for what you're getting. Like I said, super unique style, great quality, sustainable, so what more not to love. And then most of all, it's a black-owned designer. Support small brands, support black-owned brands, support women black-owned brands. So another thing I didn't really say earlier in the video is that the trend amongst these three bags I added to my collection is that they're all under $1,000. The Coach bag and the Brandon Blackwood bag are both under 500 So we like luxury, but we also like affordable things as well, or more on the affordable side. You could definitely, if you want some luxury but you're on a tighter budget, definitely consider some more contemporary brands or like heritage brands that are not super luxury. So the last but not least bag is something you guys saw in my last video, but I'm including it because it is a more recent addition to my bag. Plus, I think that it's a really great option if you're looking for a handbag that's not, you know, $1,000 plus. And that is going to be none other than my YSL Lou Puffer Pouch. I think this is such a great bag if you're looking for something that's a little bit of luxury, that can be a pouch to go out with, that you can put inside of your larger handbags. Just something if you want a pop of color or just that little, you want to, you want to, you want to invest in the pillow pouchy type of like trend but you don't want something that's more like super trendy you want something that could also be relevant a couple years from now you want something that's luxury i think this is a beautiful option right now there are luxury brands and designer brands that are doing the pillow pouchy type styles i'm gonna actually do a blog article on that subscribe to my blog 
and I'm going to be listing all the ones that you should know about for 2021. And I think that as far as luxury brands go, this is a really great option. I'm actually looking for an insert to put an organizer that I can attach a chain to because I'm not puncturing my bag. So I could wear this also with a chain just because I like those better because it's less likely I'll lose it. That's just me. I think this is a beautiful option and I really love that it's, it's in this beautiful yellow color because I do not feel like YSL does a lot of bags in color for some reason. I really wish they did because I feel like they do beautiful blacks, beautiful nudes, beautiful beiges, beautiful whites, but I'm, that's not really my vibe. I'm definitely not a black handbag girl, which is why you guys will rarely see me have a black handbag, especially a luxury one because it just doesn't do it for me. If I'm going to do a neutral, it's going to be a dark brown, it's going to be a cognac, it's going to be a tan. That's more of my vibe because I like color. So that's just it. So I think that, like I said, if you're on the market, you're getting into luxury, you want to add something a little bit more affordable to your collection that's luxury, definitely consider this. I think it also comes in like this beautiful orange. It comes in a pink tweed, which is even cheaper than this one. It comes in a black and I want to say, I think it comes in another color. I think it's like a more olive color. So definitely think about that. I didn't mention this, but my YSL Lou puffer is, I think it was about $9.85, which for a luxury bag at this point, the way the price increases are going is actually pretty reasonable. Make sure that if you do purchase this and you want a little bit of a discount, because every discount, every little bit counts, I would definitely try to go to, um, Farfetch and Set Tire, all those other types of brands, I will leave them linked below. So that usually when you sign up for their newsletter or for their email list, they'll give you 10% off or a discount for your birthday. So, and sometimes I think that they do it where you're able to apply it to YSL items. There was a time where you couldn't, and now I think they're letting you do it again. So I would definitely try to use that tip because, you know, every little bit counts. And 10% of something that's expensive is a lot. It's a lot. The, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you very much. I hope that you got some inspiration. I hope you got some ideas. If you're looking to add a new handbag to your collection, clearly from what you guys have seen, I'm into colorful things. I'm into bright and bold things. I like luxury, but what I'm going to give you guys is luxury with a sprinkle of original flavor. Because I feel like there was a time in fashion where everybody was kind of just doing neutrals and copying each other. I still feel like for a sense that people kind of like don't do their own individual style. They just copy what other people are doing or what they think everyone else wants to see or what's the popular trends. But I want people to buy things, one, that are well-made and good quality, luxury, but also things that speak to you as a person and speak to your original style. Let me know what you guys think about my picks. Let me know if there's any other bags that are under $1,000 that have your attention. Definitely make sure that you subscribe to my channel Make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss a video. And I'm so happy to post this for you guys. And I can't wait for the next one. Bye. So